Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about and kind of showcasing my 3D printed brushed DC motor. First off, I'm going to be describing how a DC motor actually works and I'm going to be pointing out each part, what it does. I'm going to be showing my DC motor at full speed or at least kind of full speed. I'm using a, a battery from an RC helicopter. With all that, let's get started. Alrighty, so first things first, I'm going to name out the parts different parts that we have that make up this motor. So first off we have the stator which is composed of these two magnets. This side has to be positive for example and this side has to be negative or vice versa. Next I'm going to be talking about the commutator which is composed of two pieces of metal that I bent to a cylindrical shape to wrap around this 3D printed cylinder and each one of these coils gets its own side of the commutator. You can see that each of these wires is connected to a coil and an important thing to remember when building a commutator is that you want these two pieces of metal here to be pretty close but definitely not touching. Which brings me to the very important topic of how to wire this thing. So you have to have the number of turns kind of match. I know it doesn't have to be an exact number, I know I definitely didn't, but it has to be close. You have to wrap them in the same direction. So with this one, I started off with an end piece sticking out before I started wrapping it, and then I wrapped this one clockwise. And as I started wiring this, this other coil, I left a pretty big piece hanging out so that I could wire the two coils together. And they connect right there. And I wired this one clockwise as well. And the end piece I just screwed. I don't know if you can see that, but the end piece is screwed into this commutator. Another thing I wanted to talk about was what I used to wrap the coil around. I basically just found big iron screws around my house. I know iron is ferromagnetic. Definitely use iron. I don't think you can use anything non magnetic, I don't think it'll produce a big enough magnetic field. And the stands that I used are 3D printed. What I did was I glued these bad boys down and then I took nails and I, I put them through each one of these holes here. And after I did that, I basically super glued each of these ends down. I don't know if you can see that. Next, I took a wooden dowel rod, cut it in half, and then cut a shape out of the wooden dowel rod so that it would glue nicely to this metal plate here. And I did that to both sides. And I did it so that both parts of the stator were pretty much an, an inch apart from each coil. So now I'm going to describe how this thing actually works. Alrighty, so first things first, these battery leads or commutator brushes are going to be vertical. They're kind of hard to see, but here's the battery. And I think the negative is going to go to this lead here. And the positive lead of the battery is over here. The gaps in the commutator line up perfectly with the coils. The reason for setting up the commutator that way is so that when the coil reaches a certain angle, the commutator brush hits a different part of the commutator and switches the electric and magnetic field of each one of these coils. So for example, this coil is now being repelled away by this magnet and it switches sides over here while at the same time the commutator position switches and this side is now being attracted by this magnet and as soon as it hits that 180 degree mark it automatically starts being repelled now because it is just about switched on the commutator. So now it is being repelled and it swings around to this side while this side is being repelled by this magnet and the whole armature swings around and the cycle repeats over and over again. And now I'm going to show you what that actually looks like.
Alrighty, well that concludes my brushed DC motor build. Hopefully you learned something today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you like stuff like this, please hit subscribe. I should be uploading some of my newer projects onto the channel pretty soon. But anyway, thank you for watching.